In this video, I'll be showing you how to draw grass. This stuff, it's everywhere. Coming up. Thank you for joining me for my video. I'm going to show you how to draw grass. Uh, three different styles of grass here. I just laid out three blocks. First one, I'm just going to pencil in some lines just to establish a direction. You can put a little arrow in if you like, just as a reminder. It's pretty straightforward. Also think about the type of setting you're going to be, your drawing is going to be for, because um, you want everything to be proportionate. So here I'm going to be drawing a field with uh, tall grass with some black ink. I sped up the video here. So that way you don't have to sit around and watch my you know, two hour video. Again, I am sort of following a general direction. The arrow was sort of pointing a wind direction, so have your grass going in that direction. It doesn't have to be all in the same direction, just give it a little bit of variety. So I drew a little tree stump there just to show you, uh, and I give you an idea what the grass would be like around it. And I'll darken around it too, just to give a little bit of a shadow as well. Just throwing in some rocks here. Sorry for that blur at that moment there. My camera must have went out of focus. It's always, it doesn't hurt to draw a sun. Just use it in pencil that you can erase it away. Uh, just to remind yourself of uh, where the light is going to be coming from. And obviously I do show some shadow in the front of the tree and the two rocks as the sun is in the, uh, the background. Here the grass in the background is going to be lighter than the grass in the foreground just to give a, a, a semblance of uh, depth. And you can add some detail on, the, on a few of the, end of the ends of the grass. I drew a little bit of a, uh, um, like a little seed mark. Sorry about my camera there, I don't know what it's doing. Next one here, I'm gonna be drawing more of a uh, uh, shorter grass, like a lawn type grass. So this would be good if you draw in a, uh, a house type thing um, where the lawn is manicured and uh, have a house in the background there. Draw a rock and a tree there just to give you an idea what the grass will look like at those locations. My grass is pretty dark just because I went pretty heavy detail on my line work and obviously you notice my my blades of grass aren't all exactly the same just to give it a little bit of a natural look. Uh, you don't want every single blade of grass to be identical in the exact same direction so there is some difference but all around general there is <clears throat> a commonality where the grass does go to the left. You can have it go to the right if you like it's up to you I'm left-handed so Naturally, I do everything to the left. I'm going to have to change how I hold the pen because I know it's hard to see it with my fingers in the way there. But I hope you uh, get an idea of what I'm doing. Sorry for my voice, I have a bit of a cold. It's raining out today. I'm not gonna go into any detail with the tree and the rock just simply because it's just for representation. Right now I just established where my sun is gonna be sitting and I'm just putting in some shadow right. I put the sun in ink, but really you should do it in pencil so that way you can erase it later on. But this is just for demonstration. So here I'm gonna be drawing some uh, 
other grass, but in the heavier detail, uh, closer up. Uh, so there's a different variety of types of grass here. So I draw a few grass blades in the foreground and I draw some smaller blades in the background. They sort of crisscross each other and then in back of that I fill it in with uh, dark ink just to give it a three-dimensional look and to make the uh, grass in the foreground and the middle ground to uh, pop out more. Give it more of a uh, three-dimensional Don't put much thought into this because it, it, it's actually better just to sort of do it randomly it, so it looks more natural. So as you can see, my, my grass in the, in the foreground is obviously gonna be taller and I do a little, some little uh, I'm not sure what those are called, those little grass seeds at the end. Just to show that there are more in the foreground. So now I'm putting some grass in the background and I'm just using a single line in the background there. It's you want to go in less detail in the background again just to give that perspective and just more of a focus on the foreground the detail in the foreground So I imagine by now you got the point, but I'll finish this example thumbnail anyways. Sometimes I like to bend the tops of the grass, just because obviously that's, you see that common in nature where the tops of blades of grass are going to be bent over like that. And you do a few blades of grass that point in the opposite direction, just to give it more of a natural look as well. So again, I just want to thank you for watching this video, and uh, if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe or hit that like button. Uh, that'd be great. Thanks very much. Bye for now.